Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the PR interval which is found on the ECG. So let's get started. The PR interval starts at the beginning of the P wave and extends to the beginning of the QRS complex. So it's different than the PR segment. The PR segment was after the P wave. The PR interval is before the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex. And this demonstrates the amount of time it takes for the electrical signal to go from the atria to the AV node. And if it's taking too long, if we have a long PR interval, this could indicate a heart block. The PR interval again starts at the beginning of the P wave and extends to the beginning of the QRS complex. And you're looking at its measurement. It should be about 0.12 to 0.20 seconds, so about three to five boxes. Any more than that, you may be thinking heart block. Here we have a picture of a first degree heart block and notice that that PR interval is more than 0.20. And then lastly, let's look at that PR interval. And again, you measure that by going at the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex and measure out the boxes. Here we have about three and a half boxes, so it's 0.14 seconds. And then you just wanna go throughout your strip and you just want to measure that and make sure that all your PR intervals line up to be that same measurement. Okay, so that wraps up this video, and if you'd like to watch more videos on ECG interpretation, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.